You know, Anakin, I've been thinking. You are absolutely right about everything. Your ideas are simply brilliant. Uh, thanks, Obi-Wan. That's unexpected. Yeah. Master Kenobi, are you feeling all right? You're being unusually agreeable. Oh, I'm perfectly fine, my dear Padawan. I've just come to realize that you both possess an unparalleled wisdom that I must acknowledge. Wait a minute. Obi-Wan, are you saying I'm right about everything? Finally, someone recognizes my brilliance. Don't let it get to your head, Sky Guy. We wouldn't want your ego to get any bigger. No, Ahsoka, Anakin is truly a genius. And you, Ahsoka, your insights are simply enlightening. I couldn't be luckier to have such brilliant companions. Wow, this is a dream come true. Obi-Wan Kenobi admitting that I'm always right. Pinch me, Ahsoka, I must be hallucinating. Nope, it's real, Skywalker. Obi-Wan is actually saying all these nice things. Now, now, don't let it go to your heads, both of you. But I must admit, I'm starting to see the world through your perspective. Ah, okay. I get it now. You're just brown-nosing us. You want something, don't you, Master? Want something? Why, I want nothing more than your love and respect, my dear friend. He's probably just feeling extra bad about the last time he brought on a guest. You know, when he got Master Qui-Gon to brainwash us? Right. That was pretty messed up. You convinced me that I loved sand. You even got me to book a vacation to a beach, somewhere full of sand. And now I can't even cancel it. Oh, cheer up, you two. I just wanted to let you know I like you now for who you are. There's nothing you can do to upset me anymore. Can we move on? The clock is ticking and we still don't even know who the guest is going to be. Well, it can't be Cody. Or any of the clones, really. They all still sound so sick. Then it's the world between worlds once again. Who wants to do the honors? Whatever we do, Obi-Wan says no guests from the future. Honestly, I don't care that much anymore. It seems no matter who we bring on the show, past, present, or future, it's going to end in absolute disaster anyway. Go off, Ahsoka. Pick whoever you'd like. Great. I'll be quick. Master, do you think I should grow a beard? What are you... Wait, you can grow facial hair. Yes, I'm not a little kid. Well, if you did, you'd just look like a baby who's got it taped on. Still would look better than whatever you got going on. All right, Ahsoka is back. That was quick. I just grabbed the first person I saw. She doesn't strike me as a Sith Lord or someone who wants to erase our minds. So I figured she'd make an interesting guest. What in the criff is going on here? I, I demand you return me at once. Ahsoka, what on Tatooine have you done this time? And who is this young lady? You know, you do look like a spitting image of Padme. I'd smash. I don't know who she is, but she seemed important. Lady, meet Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, and, uh, me, Ahsoka Tano. No. That's impossible. That's... You're all supposed to be dead. And you, Anakin, you son of a... Whoa, relax, girl. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to talk. Who are you? There's been some sort of mistake. My name is Leia Organa. I'm your daughter. That's quite the imagination you've got there, kid. I don't have a daughter. Anakin, your wife is pregnant. That doesn't mean she's gonna have a baby, stupid. That's exactly what that means, Anakin. What did you think it means? Uh, that she was constipated and wouldn't be able to poop for a few months? At this point, I'm not even surprised. Did you say your name was Organa, like the Senator Bail Organa? You sure that he isn't your dad? He is my dad. But, unfortunately, I've recently found out that this psychotic murderer here is my beloved father. Another guest from the future, I see, and a secret Skywalker child at that. Just what the galaxy needed. Nobody asked for your input, old man. Now, I don't give a flying Minoc what the hell you want to do with me. It isn't happening. I demand you bring me back to my time at once. This one's feisty. I like her. She's definitely your daughter, Sky Guy. She's even got your stubbornness. You know... We've met that Darth Vader guy, so that must be who you're thinking of when you imagine your father. I'm sorry you think of me that way. When you met your future self, didn't you say, can't wait, bro? What? Those dark side cookies sound amazing. I suppose I can stick around. For Luke, I'm sure he would find a story about you, Jedi, to be interesting. Who is Luke? My brother. And yeah, another one of Anakin's children. Wow. I guess Padme is going to have a really big poop. Do you really think that's all that babies are? Well, my mother told me babies just happen, without a cause. How was I supposed to know that Padme would get pregnant when we... Don't really want to hear about how I was conceived. Sorry, this must be kind of traumatic for you. Well, what do you want to hear about, daughter? It feels so special to be able to say that. I always knew I'd want a daughter. 
You're a disgrace. You torture me and murder millions. No, tens of millions. And you have the audacity to speak to me as if I'm a loved one? I, I'm sorry, but, but that wasn't me. And it won't be me. Ever. I knew my father was as dense as a loose asshole, but I never imagined he was this brain dead. Hey, my brain is alive and well. And my asshole is very tight. Obi-Wan says so. I said you were tight wound as a thermal detonator, Anakin. Same thing. Look, guys, maybe we should get Padme. I'm sure she'd love to see her daughter. I never got the chance to meet my mother. Can you really get her? I'd love to meet her. Of course. She's just a block away. Be right back. All right. Well, while Ahsoka gets Padme here, do you mind if I ask you something, Leia? Of course, Master Kenobi. You know, I've met you before, when I was very young. Have I now? How did that happen? Long story, but you made me hide inside of you while you wore a trench coat. I, uh, context? No need. I think the look on your face is funny enough. Messing with Obi-Wan is a favorite activity of mine. You've definitely got some of my genes in there. Look, Anakin, I know that right now you have not done those things yet, but one day you will, and I can't forget that, nor can I forgive it. I hear you, but you won't be saying that after you hear some of my latest comedy act. <sighs> Let's not do that, Anakin. She dislikes you enough as it is. But, Master, I promise, this one is actually funny. Go on, then. Let's hear it. Okay, so, what did the woman say to the Wookiee? Ugh, what, Anakin? She called him a stupid, ugly, no-good walking carpet. No? Tough crowd. Wasn't half bad, actually. Don't tell me you got his bizarrely racist sense of humor, too. I thought you were trying to stop being so mean to me all the time, Obi-Wan. That was hilarious. Trust me, Annie, he was going easy on you. Ah, Padme, how are you doing, dear? Well, I was having a pretty rough day, and then Ahsoka shows up, violently rips me out of bed, and throws me onto your show, so I'm doing terribly. Whoa, you're so beautiful. Uh, who the hell is this bitch? Are you cheating on me, Anakin? Trying to flirt with other women, are you? Uh, whoa, Ahsoka, did you not tell her? Uh, no, I thought it should be a surprise. Why the hell should it be a surprise? You're all fucking useless. All right, back up, who are you? I'm your daughter from the future. Wow. My daughter, is your name Leia? Please, tell me your name is Leia. Yeah, it's Leia. Why? Good. Anakin always wanted to name our daughter Sky Giggles, and I would have killed him right here and now if he did. Well, that sounds like a cool name. Why not Sky Giggles? See, Padme, even she thinks it's a cooler name. Really? Sky Giggles Skywalker and you... Anakin, shut up. I'm still mad at you. What? What did I do? You know, the whole fiasco with that Gungan dildo. Uh, I thought you liked it. It was made from a literal Gungan tongue, Anakin. That's so gross. Okay, okay, maybe we should give the mother and daughter some privacy, right, Anakin? Uh, hold on, you always said you thought Jar Jar was hung and wanted- I said I wanted to watch him hang, because he's an idiot who got Palpatine in office. Obi-Wan, Mom and Dad are fighting. I don't know what to do. Don't worry, dear, just cover your ears. Yeah, that's what I do, too. Ugh, look, I'm not having this fight with you again, Anakin. Especially not after we already discussed this about the Wookiee one. Suit yourself. Really didn't sign up for this conversation, you know. Yeah, sorry about that. He's usually a bit less chaotic. Are you joking? Anakin's more tame now than he's ever been on this show. He reminds me a lot of Han, actually. And now I think I'm gonna throw up. Well, Leia, I never got to properly ask my question for you. Oh, of course, Kenobi. What do you want to know? Usually I don't like to ask about the future, but I'm still trying to figure out what really happened to this Ogdo pet I had when I was a child. See, this guest we had on a while ago... Oh, come on, really, Master Kenobi? It's fucking dead. Get over it. I love that thing more than my own son. You had a son? I do not have a son. Oh, my God, you have a son. Obi-Wan has a son. This is news to me, too, actually. I bet I know whose it is, too. Well. My first guess is Quinlan, but since you guys are saying that babies aren't poops, I'm assuming he wouldn't be able to have one. Anakin, you get stupider every time I talk to you. And you love me for it, honey. Anyway, it's the teens, isn't it? There is no son. Forget about it. How are you going to drop a bombshell like that and not capitalize on it? That's just lazy writing. Actually, dear, it's called a cliffhanger, and I'm leaving us the potential to explore something in the next episode of our show. What the hell does that mean? Haven't you been paying attention? This is a propaganda series for the Republic. Say hi to all the viewers. How have I never heard of this? Eh, timey-wimey bullshit since they started messing with the world between worlds. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, well, wait, I have a question for you, Mom. Mom? Sounds weird to hear that. Especially coming from someone who looks no older than me. I'm sure... well, 
What did you ever see in Anakin? After he turned into a brutal dictator and mass murderer, it was kind of hard to see the appeal. Oh, you know, he wasn't always like that. Well, he kind of was. You told me you knew that you loved him after he confessed to a genocide of sand people. That was justified. Not only did they kill my mother, they are literally people named after sand. The most vile thing in the galaxy. I did you all a service that day. I guess it was just the moment of weakness I saw in him. He needed someone and I was there. And I was too busy carrying the entire Jedi Council on my back. Not well enough, apparently, Ben. The entire Order fell under your watch. Hold on, Ben. Is that me? Uh, is that not your name? It's... A name I've not heard in a long time. I've only ever been called it by one person. And that person is... Save it for next time, dear. An excellent point to end the episode, I think. I'm getting tired. Hold on. You aren't going to try and kill anyone, are you? Why would he do that? It's sort of what he does at the end of every video we make. Why am I even surprised? That's exactly the sort of behavior I'd expect from Darth Vader. Go on then, you coward. Kill someone and prove yourself to be a cold-blooded killer. It's not like that, but of course I'm going to kill someone. And everyone knows the thing I love to kill the most is children. But unfortunately, none are here right now. So I'll have to settle for the next best thing, women. No, Anakin. Not unless you want me to make you bathe in sand again. But... No buts, Anakin. Lightsaber off right now, or you're in big trouble. Don't make me count to three. Good boy. Wow, you really do a good job at taming him. Well, I have my fair share of experience with this unstable lunatic. I can't say this is how I ever imagined my beloved parents. You're all so weird. Can I leave now? Yeah, I'll show you back to your portal. Padme, how would you feel about becoming a regular on our show? You mean like joining you three in every episode? Oh yes, please, Padme. Please, please, pretty please with a mailorn on top. All right, fine. I'll do it, if I can get away from my duties in the Senate. Yay! Good. Maybe you can keep Anakin in control from here on out. All right, I'm back without incident. And wow, for once I'm not walking into a disaster. Guess what, Soaps? Padme is joining the series as a regular. I spoke too soon. Well, if you're not too thrilled about it, I suppose we can put it up to a vote. If anyone watching this wants to leave a comment, that would be helpful. Would you all want Senator Amidala as a full-time host? Let us know. Sir, the Jedi have brought the Senator back on their show. I have been expecting this. Let us begin. I'm very grateful our show finally ended on a positive note. Well, I like Padme, but sometimes she can be as unhinged as Anakin. Hardly true, Ahsoka. I'm your best bet to keep this one in line. Oh, whatever you say, darling. Remember to subscribe for more and like the video if you enjoyed. See you next time.